Welcome back, survivors. I'm here in Seven Days to Die, and I want to show you version two of the AFK Horde base. Then I'm going to show you how I build it. So come along with me. All right, we're going to head over here. So this is what I came up with for version two. Let me turn off creative mode here. So it's all fancied up. Um, everything's pretty much still the same. The major differences here are going to be I've changed the way this is here on the sides because I wanted it fully open for people on the inside to not have to worry about feeling closed in and cramped up. Um, I wanted it to feel a little less claustrophobic in there. So that's a big difference there on the sides. Then also um, another change that I made is down here in the pit. I put these uh, quarter block triples. Oh gosh, what are they? Let me tell you for sure what they are. Pillar, triple, quarter blocks here. So I put those there, those there, and a couple here for just extra reinforcement um, because we know the blocks changed back literally yesterday. So they're back to 5,000. Um, I did not mean to upgrade that. It was an accident, so um, I'll fix that later. Um, I added the blade traps here, and I added a third one there because I realized that I could actually do it and it won't damage the others. I was just goofing and found that out. So lots of damage down there. I actually also moved the fence posts in a third one. That way I could put these plate holes here to give extra protection to the fence posts because you can't actually reach those from in the pit now. I could probably change these to arrow slits for extra coverage, but I wanted to be able to be sure and get in here quickly and repair them if I needed to and then get right back out um, in a pinch. So that's why I left them as the plate holes. Um, another change that I made up here to give it a little more uh, room inside is I changed these blocks to half blocks instead of the full blocks. I left the full blocks at the front, of course, but there actually is a lot more room on the inside here now. Um, the old version had door here and a door here. I've gotten rid of those completely and I just moved the one door on the back because that's really all you need is just the one door. Um, I also got rid of the fence, or I'm sorry, the ladders up to the top. You can leave those if you want. I decided I didn't really want them. Uh, you don't really need access to the roof because you can still stay in here and shoot uh, vultures uh, in, in the safety of the cage. So really it's not necessary. Um, you can still come here and repair this blade trap is necessary if it's damaged. Um, you can go around on the other side, jump down and hit both of these here and here. Drop down and get right back up the ladder. Ugh. And boom, you're back to safety. Drop that down and put the box here for storage. And your battery banks or a generator will also fit in both of these as well. They're all stored tucked away safely in there. These are double wide for cop spit. That way you can stay behind the safety of those for any cop spitters from your angles and then directly on. So now that you know what it looks like and the changes that I made, let's show you how I build it. Head over here. So what you wanna do is you want a 12 by 12 by 18 set of frame shapes to get you started and that way all you're going to do is dig inside of the frame shapes. So let me get the hole dug initially to get us started and I'll bring you back when that's done. I'm going to mute it and uh, do the digging and I'll see you here in a minute and speed it up of course. Give you a little music to listen to.
All right, let's get our first layer of cobble laid down and we want the blocks. Actually, we want this whole thing to be cobble. Uh, no, we don't. Uh -huh. Okay, so first layer of cobble down and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up these frames again and put three on both sides. Okay, the ramp starts in the middle. The ramp is four wide. So, three on the side, four here in the middle. So take and do, these four are where your ramps are gonna be. You want it four deep. Okay, so please pay attention to this part because I screw it up every time I start this. So four deep, right? And you also want to go, so four deep. Hey, chicken. <laughs> four deep. And then you want to go all the way to four more. And that's where your hole is going to be for the electric fence entrance and your pit. Okay. So from the edge, you actually want to go eight for the end of the ramp. I always mess this up. I'm trying to save you cobblestone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where the pit's going to be down there. So at this point, you want to make sure that you go one, two, three, four deep to start your ramps up. Okay. Then at the point where you start your ramps up, you want to make sure that you go one, two, three, four, five high. I'm sorry, five, four high, five over four high. That's how steep you want your ramp. Okay. Cause that's where your pit's going to be. At this point you can fill all this in. Cause all this doesn't matter all the way around to the side can all be filled in except leave these three here. You don't want to fill these in. Leave these two empty as well. The rest of this can be filled in. Let's go ahead and pick up the frames here. Get them out of the way. Let's leave these here for reference. That way people need to, they can refer back on the video if they need to pause it or anything. Okay. All right. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and change these now to the ramps. Two or three, I can't remember. Three, it is three, yep, yeah, three. I wanted to make sure here. This here. Turns into ramp corner filler. And then these two here are ramp. Okay, ramp, ramp, ramp corner filler, ramp, ramp, ramp. These here can all stay blocks. Uh, go ahead and do all those. We'll go ahead and fill all these in. Because again, the place where the fence posts are going to be, you're going to be below that, so that doesn't really matter. Okay. So that's good. Now what I'm going to do now, just to get everything set to the right height on the opposite side, we're going to change this to round and go to pillar one meter cap and you want to press R and go to advanced rotation. There and there. Now just for you know purposes of materials you can always change to 
frame shapes um, for at least one. And then match the height on the other. And I would recommend doing that just, just to be safe. Again, simply for purposes of material cost. Yeah, that's the right height. Now you want to do it too wide. Okay. That's right. And that's right. So you want them to be right across from each other. Perfect. Okay. And we want to swap back to that. Okay, fill this in here. And the side of both. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get the pit done. So here, let's go ahead and we'll dig it down a little at a time. We'll go slow, that way I can make sure I'm going over it all with you as we go. And forgive me, I know everybody probably wants a hurry fast video, but I just want to make sure I get it done right for you. So here, what I did was one ramp up, a flat ramp up. Uh, no, sorry, we're not using this one for reference because I built that one incorrectly. So one ramp, uh, two flat tops, and then it was two ramps down. So that's how we're going to replicate that on version 2.0. So this will be two flats here. And yes, I did dig down two on purpose because I want to make sure we had a good base under. So there you go. I tend to dig down a little extra, a little more extra than I need just to make sure I got the good reinforcement behind it. As long as you make sure that you get completely dug out and you don't do any extra, you won't have to worry about anything getting back behind it, generally. I'm curious to see the change because they had an update yesterday that said they did some AI changes. And then literally today, like an hour ago, uh, Alpha 20 stable released. So I'm really curious to see how this does now with those AI changes. Um, I personally didn't see a clear definition on what the AI change actually was. If it was a clear change, uh, I don't know exactly what it meant, to be fair. So... Like, it didn't say, you know, zombies will do X versus, you know, what they did previously, so. Mm. Oh, no. I don't want that down there. Okay, so these can all be blocks. Now we want, let's go ahead and change this to ramp. So that's the flat we want for two ramps down. like the change that they made to that back in, what was it, Alpha 17? Alpha 18? I guess it was 18. The auger got really bad sound. Ugh. Not a fan. But it's faster than digging on camera. And I don't want to just use the dev tools on camera. 
bad enough I spawned in the materials to do the build, but... Oh. I'm pressed for time, so I didn't have time to go collect everything and do a, a realistic build. Besides, that would have just taken too long time-wise. This one's going to be pushing, by the time I get it edited, it's going to be pushing 30 minutes and... Uh, I know how I am with time. I really don't like making people have to sit there and watch videos that are that long. That being said, if you watch any of my ARC videos, um, yeah, those are those are pretty... What the hell just happened? I got stuck in that hole. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I may try to speed this bit up. We'll see. I think I should be able to. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's the ramps done. That's the pit done. Let's get the plate holes put up. So, plate hole, you want to advance rotation. And then you just pop it up there. So that makes it flush. You don't have to worry about it being offset out any at all, which is nice. And then just for uh, strength, I put the pillar triple quarter blocks. No, that's not what I wanted to. Um, up here. Just to give the pit some extra, extra oomph, I guess. Um, whether it helps or not, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. But... Uh, won't really know until we get into some fights down the road and see what happens. I do plan on using this in my bases. Now, I don't put any more pillars here because I do those blade traps in there and there. And then I found out again that I can do the one on the back wall. So I'm not going to put any more than that in there. Okay. Um, 
now the back here. So let me just double check. So the three wide for the pit, and then this is three wide here. Yep. And so the two, yep, yeah, okay, got it. Double checking. Three wide for the pit, two, three, yep. And then <clears throat> three, okay. That's what I thought. And then we leave this hole here. Yep. Good. Okay. Now, I actually have already screwed up. Ah, dang it. Don't fill this hole in here. This hole here. So, one back from the pillar caps. Pillar caps, then your row. This here needs to stay open. Put one here, put one here. And then in front of those, you need to go with your pillar quarter triple uh, advanced. And this is purely personal choice. Um, and then let's go ahead and separate these because we're going to be using a lot of the triple. And then up here, what I did was pull double. Just like that. Oh, oh, ah, dang it. Let's go ahead and craft a ladder. Do I have the, I do. Okay. Now we want to change this to blocks real quick. So block, block, we want those to be blocks. Oh, I almost put that in the wrong place. Oof. Ladder, ladder. Oh no, I am gonna need another ladder. Ah. Wood. Oh no. Sorry. Wood, 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 aha. Yeah. Oh, I was already there. There we go. Okay, now um, do the back of the base first. Um, reason being, uh, no, I'm sorry, not the back. Um, I'm trying to remember. You want to do the side first because you want to get this right. That way the rest of it falls together. Because you see how the block is sitting. You want it to go on that plane there. There you go. And we want that to match that. There you go. If you're having a hard time, you can always just kind of go up close to that, and it usually sucks right into place. Usually. Not always, but usually. Come on. There we go.
Let's go that there, and then this should stack on top. Oh no. Ugh. It's alright, we'll just do it like this. It'll be easier. Okay. Add that. That. Oh, I'm trying to hurry. I'm so sorry. If this video goes a little longer, I apologize. And then these, you can stack here because you've already got that block to take up the slack and you want half cube and then you want advanced rotation. And this is just to give it more, um, more, uh, I guess more oomph, more stability, security, whatever you want to call it on the sides there. And then you can take and stack your one down here. Wait till it rotates to the top. That way it's not sitting down too far. And then make your chest. And I like to pop it down here out of the way. You can put it really wherever you want. You can rotate it, put it down there. You can actually put it on top of it. Um, I like to rotate it and put it there personally. And then these here. I do this with. And oh. Got to do this first. So, okay, ignore this. You didn't see this come up first. We want to do th this first, and you don't want this corner one here. So we'll just pretend we didn't see the other thing happen first, and and you didn't see that either. Okay, so there, and I have no idea why that broke, it shouldn't have. Literally had nothing to do with the other. And that shouldn't have been an issue. Let's get our door. And then hatch. Okay, secure wood door, check. And our two hatches. So the hatches, if you rotate them in the little square one, bottom square, bottom right, little square, if you have it on the bottom right, it's gonna open the right way. Learned that several times the hard way. Oh my goodness, several times. Uh, I don't have anything to upgrade, but be sure you upgrade both of these and up the, upgrade the door with iron, which I have on me in my inventory. I just didn't do it yet. Uh, throw this up here. Let's just go out here. Mm. Okay, we'll go in here then. Okay, and then we want to, uh, yeah, like that, that. Okay, we're getting closer, almost done. If you are more than one, you can usually do this pretty quick. Um, I did start off with 500 cobble uh, frame shapes. Um, you can see I've got uh, 20, what, 24 left. I think you can probably do it with 500. Uh, I know that sounds like a lot. Um, and it is a lot. I mean, it's not that it's not a lot, because it is, certainly. But um, you should be able to get that much 
that much cobble out in the world. I mean, it's quite a bit. You can usually get there pretty fast. And you don't have to do a lot of these things immediately. I have never seen vultures on the first, first horde, so you really don't have to do this part right away. Ah, I have to advance rotation this here. Um, I would make this walkway, though. I think this is going to be pretty important. Oh, oh no, I, I get it right. Okay. There is one upgrade to the front we need to go do, so I'm going to need to grab some more cobble frame shapes because it does need to be done. Let's see. I think I have a few more in my box over here. I think I do not, but I have more. Oh, no, I do. I have some. I see it. There we go. So here, for sake of keeping it consistent here. We had 500. I'm only going to take another 100. So 600 total. Let's see how far that gets us. Okay, so up front here, I want to go pull, and we want to advance rotation this. You want to go across the top with those, and I did not stack those like I should have. So we want to copy that rotation. So you want to put a stack across the top. And then you want to just keep going with that rotation here. Oh, no, 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 copy that. Goodness. One more stack here. And then I'm actually going to, if it will let me, put them. Hmm. I thought it would let me before, but I guess it won't. Hmm. I thought before it would let me also put them here. It doesn't make sense that it would, but I thought it gave me the option before. But anyways, there you go. Um, so that's that done. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Uh, triple. I have no idea where that one just went. Inside, naturally. Where else would it go? Uh, hello? Oh, it destroyed a whole block. Okay. So that's that was the chest that is not there anymore. Got it. There we go. Okay, that should be all of it. Yeah, that's all of it. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and get these picked up. So there you go. Build done in, I don't know, 20... No. Respectively, 35 minutes. So... Uh, I think we're going to call that good there. I will... Make another video, quickly throw in the electrics in it, and then we'll throw some, throw a horde at it real quick and see how she does. So, uh, if you want, come back for that video. I would like to see you there, and uh, we'll see you then. Uh, have a good one. Appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all the views on the videos on the channel. Um, I hope to bring you some more now that Alpha 20 is out, and I hope to see you there. Um, I really need to switch to a guy character. I just have always played Helen, and uh, I don't know. I need to see what else is available. So have a good one. Thanks for joining, and uh, Hawks out.